<laughs> All right, now it's time for our weird and wonderful segment, and I'm not sure whether this one is weird or wonderful. We'll find out. By now, you've probably noticed our new promo that plays during the ad breaks on three, but it appears another morning show liked it so much they decided they wanted to be part of it too, even though they're not. Take a look. <laughs> In 2022, there's a new way to wake up. There is indeed, Ryan Bridge. It's waking up with Jono and Ben on the Hits Breakfast. Your hit of news, entertainment, weather, sport, ah, and so much. Watch where you're throwing that. We've got all that stuff Ryan just named, except ours is far less professional. Ah! What is up with you guys in that? And as always, no one is above a good grilling. Ah! <laughs> It is actually quite funny, isn't it? And they are funny boys. Joining us now are the Hits Breakfast host, Jono and Ben. Good morning, guys. Oh, hey, Good guys. Morning. Thank you for playing our seamless cinematography. <laughs> uh, so, Peter Jackson, we've actually got a meeting with him after this, too. Uh, he wants to know how we did that. Yeah, basically, Ryan, we didn't want just you and the Prime Minister to have beef. Uh, we wanted some beef with you as well. <laughs> I know you guys are low on, like, a low-budget operation, but that was, that was something else. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know the budget for radio. Yeah, we've managed to insert yeah. ourselves with an iPhone. It was great because you guys have got more of a budget now, I reckon, because you no longer have to pay for Mark Richardson's fake tan. So, you know, <laughs> uh, you can spend it on good, uh, things like promos. Yeah, and the teeth and the salary. I mean, you name yeah, it. The it was... There was a lot of teeth costs going into Richardson's <laughs> mouth, wasn't there, last year? <laughs> but we just wanted to borrow some of your showbiz, jazz and pizzazz, six-hour show up. And basically the plan was, Ryan and Mel, to edit ourselves and insert ourselves into more intellectual programs so we can get the respect that we don't deserve. Well, <laughs> you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> hey, um, I noticed... I'd be a little worried, though, because last time we were on a show on uh, TV3, it was cancelled. So uh, hopefully that's not uh, boating, uh, you know, for you guys. But... It's so, so long yeah. as we get you, you know, we're, we've got a, two minutes for this segment, and if it doesn't drag on, then we should be fine. It's, <laughs> it's you guys that are contagious, OK, not us. Hey, um... Can I make an apology? I've been staring down at the yeah, zoom screen. I, like, what is he doing? I need to stare at the camera. I've forgotten how to do this job. I'm sorry, Ryan. And this Mel. is why you're not in TV anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, even stare at it's World now Pizza. Some pizzas have come in, guys. Oh, yes. So it's World Pizza Day, and we wanted to treat oh. you to a pizza. This is from our friends at El Volo. Um, there you go. We wanted to treat you to a pizza. Get into it. Get into it. Don't hold Please back. Please have a slice. Hey, Please have a slice. You now you've got to look in the camera. I'm just here. <laughs> Don't look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's our friend Luca from El Volo. He made that lovely pizza for you. Get into it. Don't be shy. Have a taste on oh, TV. Thank you. Thank you, Luca. Like we should probably wait till afterwards. But... No, no, no. By don't. all means. Wait. This is no a carbonara a pizza. Mm? It's this... a bacon and egg breakfast pizza. Yeah. And it's got um, speck, crispy pancetta. And uh, parmigiano on top, and some truffle oil. This is usually outside of my pizza eating hours, but this is <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, okay, really stuck in. Yeah, well, you, you want a bit of the crispy pancetta. The parmesan as well on top. Beautiful. Yeah, you're, you're dropping it all. Get, oh. get the, <laughs> okay. Stop disrespecting the pizza, Ben. Yeah, you're insulting my, my hard work. I got up at 4:40 this morning. What's yeah, it taste that, like? It's a little bit nicer. It's got everything on it. Okay. Jono, oh, yeah. how's how's the flavour? It is delicious. It tastes like. Heaven has just exploded inside my mouth. <laughs> what do you mean it's exploded? What's going on, mate? I don't know. Is it, is it, what's the time? It's 8 30 in the morning. I don't know if we can talk about that. Well, you're sweating, mate. What's wrong? Is there a bit of spice on there? Yeah. Bit? Yeah. So I think, I think in about at one to two minutes, it's John, gonna on, hit you. <laughs> John and Ben will be in the toilet. Oh, hold on. Is this a prank pizza? <laughs> yeah, well, of course well, no, it is. It's a genuine pizza. It is a carbonara pizza. It's a we couldn't pizza speak to John and Ben and, and not have a prank. Yeah. Oh, it is spicy. I'm going to go, hang on. Oh. Yeah, that's really kicking in there right now. Mate. This is, listen, at, at, at 4.40 in the morning, I got the... Oh, hey, why would you do this to us? Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I just do what I'm told. It was crispy pancetta, and I cooked oh. it in chili oil, and then we got that... Oh, uh, didn't you what? That, that <laughs> super hot Tabasco sauce. I put on the pancetta, but... Oh, wow. Oh, my God, this has been a long runway from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you guys enjoy your morning and good, yeah. good luck trying to talk on the radio after all of that. We, th we, we figured with Jono and Ben on the programme, they are the consummate prankers. I've got another one out the back. <laughs> good luck with your morning, guys. Yeah, have it fun with really that. really nice to see you. Don't you love how Luca, who is from El Volo, the best pizza shop in Auckland, how he just sort of pops up everywhere. <laughs> Hello, actually, all. <laughs> and because he was saying it's a bacon and egg pizza, I actually thought for a moment that, oh, we've just sent them a really lovely pizza. 
<laughs> there's no spice on it, but then it kicked in. Then it kicked in, and it's still <laughs> kicking in now. Um, all right, we would, uh, well, we'll c maybe come back and see them in a minute. Right now, uh, the 8.30 news is coming up next, and then apparently it's a buyer's market and property. We find out what all of that means with our favourite property expert. It's Debbie from Property Apprentice. Stay with us. Time now for news.